Okay then, it is 4.07 on this 18th day of May 2021. I am the Grumpy Game Dev and this is Freebooter Explore. We're about to look at our hacking plan and go, where do we leave it off? Finish refactoring game.world.border.cpp. Thanks, hacking plan, which is exactly where this is and that's all fine. Moving on down. Set in the end. So there's this exact piece of functionality here. So how many places where I do it's three places. There are three places. Well, first let's go with Okay, so we do const std map phase direction um borders and std function <laughs> that's a setter okay first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to state okay so I'm going to go function what does this return the function world order And you are a common X, Y, whatever, right? Equals. We just call it dude. Okay. Get north border is that, right? All right. Let's be a return. There we go. Hey Graham and Searle, what's going on, fellas? I'm refactoring code. Dude, you always refactor code. Yes, I do. Yes, yes, I do.
Well, we're just gonna do this do this this way. That's that's what's that's what's gonna happen. This should be a get east. Okay, well first let's let's take let's do the thing. I say get border position. Right. Be get east border position. Get the south border position. This is going to be get west border position. Which really means that I can go ahead and make a const std map. STD function. We only went up with an STD. Ha! Ah, the jokes write themselves. Function of world border and it takes an X Y. Right? These are the ahead borders. And maze direction north. Not east. North is the north border. Right? One, two, three, four. North, east, south, and west. Oh, okay. North, east, south, and west. And the way that we return this is we return head borders, find direction. Second position. So that's all fine.
this is very very similar I will rename you we'll rename you a head border getter yep total two places that's fine and then there's a head border setter There's going to be a way to get there's going to be a way to make this even shorter, but right now it's making it longer. So this one's a void. Okay, so here's my we'll do it we'll do this set thing. Set. Say set. This is a void. And then there's a world order order. There's that. So there's gonna be north, north, east, south, west. East, south, and west. Either EW. Yeah, this is EW, this is East, South, and West. the head border setter so we can take the whole thing from you now to be that comma world border this would be a void down back over here okay it doesn't like it because these need to be the sets becomes the head border setter dot find direction second position border okay so that does that looks up through here now the thing is is these these two things so a couple of these things are just very very the same and there's one extra doodad move this one back down let's move, we'll just move this one yeah okay I'm gonna be able to, I'm gonna be able to do this So getting the board get border right. This one's gonna be get west border. And that's just position. Okay. So let's first simplify these things and then it's gonna it's gonna start to get a little bit better. 
get north border. Here, get east border. And you are get south border. Right on. And we'll do this as well. So we'll get east border. Here we get south border. You are get west border. You are get north border. And then, uh, 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 ha 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 man. Oh, look at that. Look at that piece of something. Where's my my head border getter? I don't need a head border getter now. I need left border getters and right border getters. Be the left border getter. So we start with north to west, east to north. South to east and west to south. And we're going to return left border getter and direction second position. And then we need the right border getter. And we're going to start with east. East, south, west north and you're the right border getter right and that's gonna be a So that reduces all of that stuff. Now, one of the things that we definitely want to do here is that this is this is obviously um, okay, let's see a headboard got we put that right there. These are obviously all together, right? Right. I'm going to type that something here. I'll call you. Okay. You are a border getter. Right? And so we say border getter.
So that's all fine. Everything works great. So what I really want to do I want border getters I'm going to do a do I need to bring in tuple? Because that's right kids we're going to make it we're going to make it Tuple. Do a border getter. Okay. Can I do it? Can I do it this way? one is get so for the left so zero is going to be on the left and right east so west north east south east south west North. Okay, so these are the border getters. Let's let's build things because we haven't done that in a little bit. A little. Bit. Thinking about it? What's going on here? Let's take a really long time to build. Part of this. It's even fewer lines than that. What's going on? Okay, and it built. Thanks. That took a really long time. What now? If I just build it again, take forever? No. I change something? Just built. How long? Okay. All right, non-deterministic. All right, so index plotters. How many places do we really use these? It's only in getters and okay. So yes, getters and setters. Oh, 
Well, you can call it the Kit North Border, right? So this can be simplified a bit. North, east, south, west. Wait, this is the the north door. Wait, door north. Okay, so these things. Is that north border? Is that right? I don't need. I need the position, right? Column row. Let's start let's start improving this a bit. Okay, that makes it instantly a little more readable. So set west border. And this is again not going to be those things. We need column row. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Okay. So this is really what kind of. Is it a dead end? It's really these two things are exactly the same. And I don't think we need you anymore. No. This is gone. Don't need this. Although I think... Uh, uh, common... XY... Size... T position equals column row. So we don't have to do this as much here. Ooh, yeah. These are not ints. Let's do this once. Otherwise, it's going to complain all over the place. Boom and boom. <clears throat> So all that this is doing is it's saying, give me <clears throat> give me a west door, and is it a dead end of the next cell is a dead end. Only thing we have here say is we have a direction yep and a setter 
Okay. Okay, so we have static void set um, border. I don't have a clear thing. So this, and I'm gonna. We have the cell. What are you? You are a well, we know we have it, right? Let's go to the definition of here. Okay. So let's take this as a reference over here. So one of the things we have is cell. I know that's maze cell. Okay. So I don't need all these dot value things. position we do we do const common xy size t position yep. and so that's position now I need a direction const maze direction direction is that but so this whole thing here. Direction. And that. And what if I just what if I just return the thing return what sort of thing I have to do because then I don't have to have position because I've got position elsewhere if I just world border I just returned this thing and then say return so I've got a uh, determine border determine border and call you the maze door <clears throat> so so the maze door in the next cell, if the next cell is a dead end, then it needs to be a lock, otherwise it needs to be a thing. Okay, so determine border. So I should be able to say set north border. No, not set position. Determine Order cell maze direction north. Cell dot value. Okay. 
Okay, and then this is a set west border. Set west border position and the rest of the stuff, but it's to the west. And there, that did, <coughs> that did a thing. Oh, let's actually find out if that really works, because that might not really work. There's there's a whole lot of place where I could have screwed up there. And up well, appears to work. Well, looks like looks like I did manage not to screw that up. Yeah, I reckon this is this is the way you do this. <sighs> so are there some are there some places where it gets a bit on the repeat side? So how many places do I use? just ah okay but still have still have this so um refactored uh, world borders but still needs more there's gonna be gonna be this little jobby Where I'm going to say, well, there's border getter. Border getter. Return. STD get on. Does that does that enhance readability? Get Porter ahead. It it does. I don't. Is there a way for me to do this? So it const int. Can I do this? Is this is this okay? Is this Will you build? Will you work? It does. Okay, well then. Left, right, and ahead. So get border, get border left. Uh, 
so then all of these things, well, let's make sure it works. Well, number one, make sure it works. Okay, I turn, I turn, I go. Everything's fine, okay. So now there's exactly one I'm going to call you border set. Just border setter. Then I'm going to call you border getters. And border setters. And does it need to be set set border ahead? Can I just okay? Added some S's. That that is what I did really. So let's move some stuff. Border ahead. There's all those things. That's much smaller. These are all the setters, or the, all the getters. still bothers me ever so slightly but what else are you gonna do so okay oh this is better so have these index plotters where are these index plotters used so only places where I'm getting in You know what? It's fine. I'm gonna be okay with it. <clears throat> when I set the border. Yeah. <clears throat> See, this, this these things actually deal with the data. Okay, so this stuff deals with the data for it. What's my what's my difference here? Rearrange? Is that just rearranged? Rearrange. Put similar functions together. So the other bit here is where um, where I would put stuff from here. Uh, down to here yeah, starting with three two to about seventy is where I would put um, I'd put that into a separate namespace <clears throat> maybe I do maybe I do 
Maybe I do. Well, it's a lot more cleaned up anyway. We're going to move on to something else. Because I feel a whole lot better about where it's where it's at. Let's indicate shops on mini maps, shall we? Shall we? One of the things that I'm going to wind up needing is I'm going to wind up needing a new um, items, not items. There we go. Going to open that. I'm going to zoom right on in. And how big are these things? These things are. Is that 16 by 16? It is 16 by 16. So now, there we go. 16 by. Let's just make a new one. Go 16 by 16. So I know we have kind of that box thing going on. So we're at seven. Go here, do the thing, do the thing, do the thing. So this is more or less Nope, not there. Yeah. Okay, so that's our little trade icon, I think. Let's just go zero. Let's make it this color. This is this is a fine color to make it. It will probably stand out from the thing. And we can always the important thing is we can always change it. Oh, but we do need like a okay, so let's go back and go let's go A, move it, okay, X B do that A C and it paste into new layer. Okay, so that's fine. Give that kind of 3D pop out vibe going on here. Edit, view, edit, image, flatten. You see, and put it right over here. Funk, funk, funk. Okay. So that's going to be our little shop icon. Okay, let's go over into our sprites. Right, um, I think it's, I think one of them is called Danger. Map cell Danger. So unexplored, and map cell that is at uh, eighty. Okay. 
Oh, we'll call your map sell trade. Trade is at 80. Okay. Got the images, the, or the image. And so next, I just need to be able to Where's the world map? World map is visuals world map. So when I'm drawing the thing, draw a wall, draw a lock, draw a moon wall, draw this, draw that, draw danger. There's gonna be one called draw trade. That's gonna be we're gonna have to do with shops. Game shops. Game shops. Get instance. Not get instance. Read. Is that right? Yes. Then we're going to draw trade. Danger. Danger is. Trade equals map cell trade. Some of these things could this could be sprite danger and sprite trade. So that you know I can relatively easy easily. Up oh, these are sprites too. Ha 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 ha. Check this out. So you know what? Nope. We're gonna leave it without the word sprite because otherwise I have to put it on all of these things and that. Really not what this is going for. So I just draw danger. Somewhere else is draw danger. Draw that, draw that, draw danger, draw a trade. Alright. So how to test. How to test is to give myself a lot of um, map fragments. So initial inventory, say 10, 10, 10. It should actually highlight a great deal of the map. So let's 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 see if it works. save it I didn't save it so let's try this again so that one should actually show me one look at that all right so that's cool kind of overlaps that but that's uh, all right I need to when it's hovering. Is that right? Is 
Is that in play in minimap? Is it this one? So like a text map tool tip, this one. Outside areas, in area, update minimap tool tip. Get known state, then that's cell unknown. Otherwise, that and this thing needs to know about shops. Okay, okay, shops. Okay. And we're gonna do it this way. We're gonna go here, creature, then and else. And this is this is yuck. This is getting yuck. Auto shop, go game, shops, read, world position. If shop. Then, yuck. I gotta get the descriptor. Game, shop, get descriptor, shop, value. Auto, descriptor, descriptor, dot, name. So yeah, this will this will work. Dead name. Okay, it's just gonna be like so. Creature dead value does creature dead name. So if the creature exists, then it's the creature dead value descriptor dead name. Otherwise, okay. Yeah, this needs this needs some help because this is yuck. shop yeah oh it's it works nicely they and uh oh yeah okay so um minimap both shows shops and a tool tip for those shops so that's good Oh, you know what? You know what? When you're drawing this, you gotta draw that at the end. That's that's for show. Draw avatar over other things. Cut. But, all right, so that is gross and ugly. Well, how about we get a, get to a static. STD string uh, determine tool tip 
Okay. Let's do this. Take this, and what do we need in order to parameterize it so that I take took one too far, one too far. Okay, do a const as a uh, common XY. Size T world position, right? Return that, which means none of this has to be indented. That's a return that. Otherwise, there we go. So if shop return the descriptor name, return descriptor name. Otherwise, there's no otherwise return cell empty. So if get a known state, we return that. Otherwise, that. Otherwise, that. That's way better, and this is. I then don't really need. We're not going to have SS here. We're going to have uh, determine determine tooltip for world position. Okay. Let's see if it still works. It probably will. to not get any of the shops. Okay, which one are you? You're the one, no. Okay. Actually, we're going to do an if area is not equal to area world map. We're gonna do this in return. Uh, 
but otherwise we're going to make an assumption. Oh, I don't really need to do this. I don't think I need this. Yeah, maybe I do. Let's see. This is some complicated stuff that doesn't need to be that complicated. I leave, we got other things. It's all fine. Okay. There a creature? Yeah, okay. So this is and this is the area where here we are. Build, build. Okay. <clears throat> Ooh. And I'm gonna see. Do I actually need this many things in it? Starting at the bottom. So render command, mouse motion, mouse button, and on enter. Okay, so that takes care of all that. I did on enter. Visuals, areas, visuals, text. Maybe. That's right. Let's get really picky about it. Okay, so we need visuals, areas, visuals, texts. Texts. What else we got? We need S stream. Good old S stream. Let just put you above all of the things. So game avatar. It's common utility. Common utility I need. Game avatar statistics. And just game avatar. Common audio. Game world, game shop, game. So, game world, game shop, and game creatures. Creatures, game shops, game world. Do I still actually need. Oh, there's one. Images set visible. Up the arrow images. Right. 
Okay, visuals, images. <clears throat> Seems like a lot of stuff. Watching in 160p? Wow. That means I've got like, yeah, there's <laughs> hardly. So, you know, getting the riveting, dis getting the riveting description of me alphabetizing my includes. <clears throat> build, build. Yeah. <laughs> oh. All right. What did I do? I just kind of sorted things out, didn't I? That's all I did. Uh, resorted tooltip for no. But so, all right. Oh, always, I love this, this is, this is fun, always show, show when shop is present. <laughs> Do something and return true. Wait, did I already have do something in return? No, there's do something in refresh and do something in return true. Yep. What a great function name. We'll just push that right on up. So I indicated the shop on the mini map up. I have to take out the initial inventory. Blue map fragments from initial inventory. Now what am I doing? I gotta figure out what I'm doing now. Okay. Well, you know what? Let's get these stupid things over these overlaps. And that's that's this is gonna just be POV work. Or the sub layout for POV. So where are the images for items? And there's a lot of these. And this sucks. All direction, avatar state. Okay, so we start with the potion. And we need to write some things down. Potion, potion, potion. Beer, beer, beer. Okay, I need. <clears throat> I need an analog recording device.
analog recording device. <laughs> Things are on either 292 or analog analog logging device, which non-functional. There we go. Analog analog uh, writing device. Analog uh, data archival. Okay. So potion is at 52.292. Beer. Is at 36.324. Wine. Is at 84.292. Booze is at seventy eight three twenty four. Joker is at one ten three twenty four. Prawn. One forty two three twenty four food is at two seventy six and two ninety two coffee. Is at two ninety two three twenty four jewels is at two forty four two ninety two trousers is at two sixty three twenty four. So the trousers are in the same spot as they should be. Turds, because turds is at two two eight three two four. And the key. Is that one ninety six three two four? The map fragment, which we'll just write down as map, is at one sixty four three twenty four. I wound up with a lot of items in this game. <clears throat> So that these are these are an A A A A so one two three four really do, do I have more room up top? places do I have 292 so how many places I have 292 it's 52 84 276 And the, the coffee doesn't count. 244. So I have, oh. Good for me. I got all kinds of spots up here. Oh. 
Well, that's that's nice. So the, which one? Okay, so the map fragment. So the map fragment. One six four. So there's the map fragment. And then what? It overlaps the prawns. One forty two. Yeah. It it shouldn't. Wait. So okay. Look in here, and on the top row, we've got 52, 84, 276, 244, and 276. This looks like I got all kinds of room here. Okay, so that takes care of those. I think 36 is the first one, so 36. Seventy-eight. One ten. One Ah, okay, so 164, which is not enough. And then 196. So, okay, that one's wrong because it's only 22 away. Uh, blah, I can't math. That's, that's my problem. But, let's say I put it, so 84 plus 32 is 116. Let me put it at, put you at 116-292. Cause I got all kinds of room up top there. All right. I think this is going to take care of it. This is going to, this is going to make it okay. So let's, but now we're going to have to wander around looking for uh, well, let's just start taking stuff. Uh, right, yeah. Dunk, dunk. Food. So yeah, there's that, and there's that. So it's gonna be up right up here, which overlaps with the door. That's all right. I'm a very dangerous dungeon today. Everything is just like, so there it is. So how's that look? How's that look there? That's okay, right? There's that, there's that, there's that. We can unlock you. Up. Oh, that's no good. That is no good at all. So yeah, I have to go back and fix that again. So I do have to say, if area name is the thing. Area world map. Sadly. Because I can't have it going on other things. That's fine. Okay. 
uh, moved map fragment into a spot where it doesn't overlap with other items. Okay, so that took care of that. So what's our thing here? Give combat effects for creature attitudes. What in the world can we do here? So we're gonna need to, we're gonna need to think about this. And let's let's go look at creatures and see attitude. Um, okay, distracted we've we've got. Okay, that one we've got. Unimpressed should be neutral and unimpressed will be the same. Disgust, hostile, maybe they hit harder. Embarrassed. I don't know. Perhaps this one does half damage, this one does double damage. Um, so distracted am okay, maybe embarrassed and don't know. Don't know. <sighs> so, done. Oh, I haven't looked at how this works at all. It's been a while. Okay, so game combat. Combat comes in. If the guess is correct, otherwise, oh, 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 these are, these are bad. This is bad. Eek. Eek. Guess is correct. Then we're gonna have hit creature. Is that right? Okay. It's gonna kind of wind up with a combat result. So static combat result uh, resolve. Guess is correct. I'm going to do this. Okay, return resolve hit. Okay. Otherwise. Otherwise, what does this return? This returns a no. It's okay. Not fine. That's fine. Otherwise, I'll resolve miss. That's a resolve miss. Static. Combat result resolve miss. Let's 
resolve return Oop, oop, we lost our code. Hold on. Come on, there you go. So take that out, put that here. Else return resolve miss. If there's a guess, then if it's get correct, then we resolve a hit, otherwise we resolve the miss. And we'll do a resolve guess. Static. If guess resolve combat resolve one two three there we go so return resolve guess so there it is resolve guess so. If there's a guess, result return result a guess. Otherwise, uh, resolve no guess. Call you resolve no guess. Return. Genso rating with a party of five. Genso, how was the stream? How are things? What's going on? Hello, hello, sir. Good, so good to have you drop by. Well, I hope all the things. Um, resolve, no guess. Dunk, dunk. Other than that, resolve, return, resolve, no guess. And there we have it. And there we have it. Waiting. What am I waiting for? Avatar statistics. Oh, okay. Boy, then. Resolve the hit, we resolve the damage. Do you know? Do you know? Wasn't that interesting? Solve the miss. So I'm going to return that otherwise. Otherwise.
Damage is greater than zero. Otherwise, the hunter has been blocked. Okay, enjoy your lunch and a pooping dog. things here and there. Thanks. I won't be here too much longer, but I'll be here for a little bit. You have a great lunch. Mit Duck Pausa. Okay, so this becomes a lot more declarative. I don't think I made it shorter. In fact, I'm certain that I did not. In fact, I increased the length by 10 lines. But that's okay because I made it more declarative. This is one where, okay, this is so I resolve a miss, otherwise, the damage. Um, okay, the, the attack. So, this is where I would say if there's um, so if the instance attitude is like. Um, what is attack? Attack. Oh, um. Oh, based on the attitude. Okay, uh, adjust the attack. Let's have a adjust the attack thing. So static, what is attack? Attack is a int, int. Adjust attack. Or attitude int attack and whatever these attitudes are can feature attitude attitude okay so right so generally we're just going to return attack because that's normal what happens here we're going to be able to do this all at once and say do that and whatever the attitude is so descriptor attack instance descriptor attitude so I can say uh, if attitude if attitude is equal to game creature attitude made him hostile then return attack times hostile multiplier I was just gonna say constant equals two <clears throat> we'll just say that <clears throat> so if you make them hostile not that you're gonna but 
So that's at least something. And I don't really see a need to modify any of the other ones. So who, who gets hostile when... Hey, what, what possible benefit is it? There is no benefit. And this needs to go to the top. So we build, build. And so <clears throat> we're gonna we're gonna call that good enough. What else we have? Music shuffle, music streams, sounds for picking up items. So yeah, we're getting into the into the time. Well, this I'm gonna just gonna have to move into um so wait, gonna we're gonna move this into the backlog because I don't have a need to do it yet once music shows up then we'll have we'll pull it off the backlog the backlog shouldn't be all that shouldn't be all that much on the backlog um, let's take a look here actually I completed that It's completed. Vector to use per controller. Yep, I did that too. Completed. Did that too. Completed. Uh, I suppose I'll send you to a set to the board. To the board. Okay, so I did that. Get the way an item condensed. But one JSON object and a control type. What? Ah, okay. A prison. <laughs> why did I? Okay, somebody's going to have to help me with why. Why do we want to do this? There's a prison wallet. Merchants. Oh, well, we've kind of already. Uh, we we kind of already did this. And we're gonna send it to send the board. We did that. for dropping items. I don't think there there is a purpose for dropping items. Oh. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> dear, dear people. Okay. <laughs> I just had an idea. <sighs> Item soap. Uh, combat action drop soap. Um, 
Okay, non combat action. Use soap. Okay. That's. <laughs> oh. oh, I think I'm going to cancel the idea of prison wallet, but I think dropping the soap gets sort of that sense of uh, that that sense of cringe that I'm looking for. And what does it do? It it changes the creature's attitude. So that does use soap. It will clean soiled trousers. Some soap. Well, Please, please let there be, let there be a soap. There's soap. There's soap. There's soap. Of course there's soap. Oh, oh, how lovely. Oh my. Yes, sir. No, you can have kind of this. You don't want the brown soap. You want kind of this, this kind of gray soap. Do you want the white soap? I don't know. So maybe not quite. Maybe like 224. Just sort of this soap. Uh, where? Who drops the soap? Who? Okay. So then naturally. All right. All right. This is getting silly now. Well, let's get let's get you into here. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna put this here where we're, we're gonna work on tomorrow. We're gonna work on soap. <laughs> and just out of whimsy, is there? Banana peel. See a banana peel. <laughs> uh. See, there's just so many, so many great things. A sewing machine. You can make your own pants. This game is getting silly. This game has been silly for a while. Okay, so that's soap. Soap. 
<clears throat> so there's the item. Okay. Gotta get items open there. And it is about time to get on going because I got things to do. Okay, so then, um, what do we have? Mark Bruno Dev. Well, and that's where we're going. Ooh, a multiplayer tycoon game though. I think I might kind of like this. So, I don't know. It's either gonna be this guy or or that. I hate stream titles. Me too. Or he looks all right. Rockets to guns. He's making a thing. Uh. Hmm. He hates stream titles. Or stream. Now we're gonna go, Mark. Mark Bernardov. We're gonna do that, and we're gonna get out of here. Thanks so much for hanging out. Um, yeah, get off my lawn or something.